So you've decided that you want to save money by leaving cable TV. I get it. But figuring out the switch is a pain. You've got live TV and on-demand streaming to deal with, not to mention the gear you're going to have to get. And you're going to need great Wi-Fi if you want to rely on streaming. Today, we'll cover it all and figure out the best way for you to leave cable. It'll be pretty broad, but know that we have in-depth reviews on a lot of the products and services that I'll be mentioning. So check those out on our channel and make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest reviews. Let's start with live TV services. Good news is that you've got a ton of options. DirecTV Now has the most channel offerings and is pretty similar to their cable service. They're a more expensive option ranging from 40 to 75 bucks a month in comparison to other services like Sling TV, which is a solid value option coming in around 25 to 40 a month. And if you're just not a huge TV watcher but still want the ability to, then try Philo TV for 16 to 20 bucks. Like most things, you get what you pay for, but luckily all of these services are pretty solid and offer free trials. And the biggest pro is that none of them are tied to contracts, so you can leave whenever you want. So if you're just leaving cable and have some anxiety around it, then start with DirecTV Now for a week and then try out Sling or YouTube TV, which is also one of our favorites. Take your time finding a fit and you won't go wrong. Once you figure out which live TV service you want, you'll want to pair it with an on-demand streaming service. Netflix and Hulu are probably the most popular ones out there, but you've also got Amazon Prime, HBO Now, and CBS All Access all under 15 bucks. And like the live TV services, there's no contract tying you down. If you wanna watch current shows like This Is Us, then Hulu is your best bet. But Netflix takes the cake for original content like Stranger Things and live comedy specials. Personally, there's something comforting about Netflix's red letters appearing on my screen, but I will be subscribing to Hulu when the new season of Handmaid's Tale comes out, and I'm currently on the hunt for an HBO Now login to watch Insecure. Basically, it's all about the content to determine what service you need, and hey, maybe you need all of them. That's the pro of their lower prices. Now you can just log into Netflix or DirecTV Now and watch it on your laptop or phone. But if you wanna watch on your TV, you'll need a streaming media player, which is the device that's gonna replace your cable box. The main four are the Roku, Amazon's Fire TV, Apple TV, and Chromecast, which all basically offer the same function. You get the apps to watch the content. The biggest difference is price and interface. Now the Apple TV is my favorite because I have an iPhone and a Mac, so I'm used to Apple's interface, but it also cost me 200 bucks. I would have been fine with a Roku for my binge watching needs and it's less than 50 bucks. And if none of these sound good to you, you could always look into getting a smart TV which has the apps built in and can run you anywhere from $120 to 1200 or a lot more than that. And to fully replace cable, you'll want an HD TV antenna. Buy it stick it to a window, and you've got access to every local channel like ABC, NBC, and Fox. There are loads of antenna options from 10 to 80 bucks. We'd recommend something in the 20 to $30 range for a product that you won't have to fuss with too much. Now, I know it might sound like a lot, but a life without cable is possible. Let's recap. One, pick a live TV streaming service you like. Two, pick an on-demand streaming service you like. Three, get a media player. Four, get an HD TV antenna. And you'll end up with a mix of services and devices that fit your needs. And chances are that you're going to save a lot of money. But we wanna hear from you. Have you tried any of these services or products? Let us know in the comments, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next review.